Hello friends, it's Christy Marcotte. My kids have only been out of school for a week and we have already been so busy. I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to get started on the July Love from Lizzie kit. But I did manage to sneak in some crafty time so I could make my 10 cards. This kit is an exclusive Love from Lizzie manufactured kit called Summer Fruits and it is just gorgeous. I will include links in the description box if you are interested in purchasing any of the items that I use in this video. So let's go ahead and get started with card number one. I'm using freshly made sketches number one. It's always fun to use the very first sketch from a website. And if anybody is interested in the sketches that I use, including the measurements, I do share all of that information on my coordinating blog post, and that link is in the description box below. This kit includes 20 sheets of 6x6 pattern paper and also a really large pack of ephemera that coordinates just perfectly with all of the pattern paper. There's also a coordinating stamp set along with two additional add-on stamp sets. So it gives you a nice variety of images and sentiments. So for this first card, I'm just gonna stick with a sentiment along with some ephemera. So I'm heat embossing a little sweet thanks sentiment just using some of the silver dollar embossing powder. And I have this on some white pearlescent paper for that background. Another fun item that's included in the kit is a full sheet of acetate. And this acetate has diagonal strips all across it. One side has a gold foil, and if you flip it over, the other side is silver foil. So for this card, I'm gonna have the silver foil showing. And if you've ever used acetate before, you know that it's kind of tricky to find adhesive that you're not gonna be able to see once it's it's all dry. So what I'm doing is I just put a small bit of ATG just behind there because I'm gonna have a piece of ephemera covering that part. And then I took some of Love From Lizzie's peel offs and I just put one down each side of that strip. And then I wrapped the end all the way around the back. So that gives it a little extra, kind of like a using it like a tape to hold that piece in place. So it's gonna go ahead and attach that onto my card front. And since that acetate piece has a little extra dimension, I don't wanna have any extra bulk when I attach this square piece with all of the fruit. So I'm just putting some thin foam squares on the upper portion of this piece, and then just some ATG on the lower part that's gonna be right over that acetate. So I'll go ahead and put my card front onto a card base. And I do always use my own white card bases whenever I do my cards. The kits do include some cardstock that you can use for a card base, but I prefer to use just my white cardstock. And then I'll use the colored cardstock for layers or the background of my cards. So now I'm gonna use this ephemera piece that has a pineapple, a lime, and a little flower. And so again, I wanna keep it nice and even on the card. So I'm just adding some foam dimension on the parts that's not covering that square pattern paper. And then just a finishing touch, I'm just gonna use some of the enamel dots that are included in the kit. So there is card number one. So now moving on to card number two, this is MFT sketch number 376. And I absolutely love this pink paper with the pineapples. So it's kind of funny, I'm actually allergic to pineapples, but I still love this paper just because of that beautiful bright pink color. So I'm just putting a wide strip on this pattern paper, and this is wider than what's listed in the sketch, but I didn't wanna lose or cut off too many of the pineapples. And then just on that left-hand side, I'm gonna use two of the washi tapes that are included in the kit. So one is this gold glitter tape. It's a little bit wider, about half an inch. And then the other is kind of more of a magenta foil color. So it's about fourth of an inch wide. So I'm just putting those right next to each other on that left-hand side. And I cut the washi tape just a little bit longer than that card front so that I could wrap the end of it around and tuck it inside. That way it won't peel off later on the card. 
So I'll put my card front onto my card base. And now I'm gonna use some more of the ephemera that's included in the kit. This sweet little girl, I love her hair. It looks like she has gold glitter streaks going through her hair, it's really pretty. So I am gonna go ahead and pop her up using some of the foam squares that are included in the kit. That way there's a little extra dimension. And then I'm gonna use one of the epoxy sticker sentiments. So these are fun because you can see through them so they work nicely over pattern paper or you can put them on a solid cardstock as well. Then I'm gonna use a few more of the ephemera pieces. I just chose three different sizes of the flowers and I'm just gonna add them in that upper left-hand corner. And I decided I'm going to pop them up but I didn't want them quite as thick as the foam squares in the kit. So I'm just using some more of my thin foam squares. So there is my finished card, and that's card number two. Now moving on to card number three. I'm using a sketch by Cards TV. And these are fun because the measurements are already included, so I didn't have to do any of the extra work figuring them out on my own. So this card is gonna be very purple. I love the variety of papers and colors that are included in this kit. So on the background, I'm using this purple paper that has fern leaves, and then just a small strip of this polka dot paper, and it has sort of a paint splatter look to it. And just to add a little sparkle, a little bit of shimmer, I'm using some of the peel-offs from the kit. These are the mauve moon dust, and I just put one of the thin strips right on the edge of that polka dot paper. For my image box, I'm gonna use some more white pearlescent paper. I love to use this if I'm not going to stamp on it. I just find that on pearlescent paper, the ink seems to smudge. So unless you're gonna heat emboss it, I would suggest using something different. So for this one, I'm actually going to use some more of the ephemera. And I did put some thin foam squares just to go around that polka dot strip. So again, I just like to keep things fairly even on my card. So now the real challenge. Lizzie has these tassels included in the kit. So I'm trying to figure out what I was gonna do with them. And I decided, at least with the yellow one, it would make a really fun sun. So I'm gonna cut off several pieces. And then I also have a little stitched circle die cut. I'm just gonna put some score tape on the back of it. And then I'm gonna use those tassel pieces as the sun rays. So I was trying to figure out what was gonna be the best way to do this. So I'm trying to cut them short enough and I don't want them too long because then they kind of start overlapping. I'm trying to do my best to get nice even rays, but it didn't quite come out that way. But I still think it turned out really fun. Nice little dimensional sun. So the last couple here were fairly tricky. I'm trying to cut them even smaller and just sort of squish them in there they're basically they feel almost like a leather so then just to seal it all on the back I put another piece of score tape and then I'm going to use some liquid adhesive as well so I'm just going to put some of that on the back of each of those little rays and of course my liquid adhesive is running really low so you can see how hard I'm squeezing it trying to get some of it out so once I have all of that covered, I'm gonna go ahead and attach it in that upper left-hand corner of my card, just like with that circle element on the sketch. So now I selected my little ephemera girl. Love her in her giant ponytail. And then I'm gonna use another one of the epoxy stickers. So I have one of the smaller ones that has Hello Summer. And I just placed it on the bottom of that image box and then little finishing touches, a little banner in that upper right hand corner, and then I decided to add a little Wink of Stella glitter pen to the sun. And even though the kit did not include any Nouveau Drops this month, I did decide to add just a few. This is the Nouveau Dream Drops in the Indigo Eclipse color. So there is my finished card, and that is card number three. Now moving on to card number four. I chose another sketch from Cards TV, and then I selected this really fun watermelon paper. And this is really pretty because it has a pearlescent look to it. Five of the pattern paper sheets are all pearlescent. 
So I decided to mat that on some white cardstock and then again on this pink cardstock. And I do have a little scallop circle cut out of the background. So I will be using that later on the card. And then I'm using some of the add-on glitter paper. This is really pretty green. It matches nicely with the green on the watermelon. And then just to add a little extra detail, I use some of the green mirror peel-offs. Just put one strip on each side of that glitter cardstock. And then I'll go ahead and put that whole card front onto a card base. And what I did not notice before is I'm using the same image that I used in my previous two cards. So it's this little girl with a big giant ponytail. Although they're slightly different, the ephemera have different colors and different things that they're holding, but I didn't notice it until I started doing the voiceover. So, so obviously I really like this image. So I did color this little girl. I don't color often, so I didn't show it on the video. You're not gonna learn anything from me. I keep it very simple. But just to add a little frame around this image, I'm using some of the new bubbles peel-offs. So first I had selected the actual bubble peel-off, but I thought it was a little too wide. So in between each of those little circle chain kind of bubbles, there's this interesting little, kind of like a diamond pattern. So that is the piece that I use to go all around this image box. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some foam dimension so I can put this piece right over that glitter paper, which of course has a little extra dimension to it. And I use some liquid glue just on the spot that it's actually touching the glitter paper. And now I'm gonna pull out one of the sentiments from the stamp set. This is sun, sand, watermelon in hand. Thought that was just perfect with the girl holding a giant piece of watermelon and then the watermelon paper. So again, trying to keep all of my layers nice and even. Just trying to figure out how thick of dimension I need. So for just that bottom corner, not that there's a corner on a circle, but I'm just gonna use some of the thicker foam squares and then just some liquid adhesive for that part that's touching the image box. So now a little finishing touch, I'm gonna use some of the sequins and these are beautiful. It's the Rainbow Wishes mix along with these teeny tiny little pieces of fruit. So I won't be using any of the fruit for this card, but I will on a later card. But I love these because they're, they're clear, but they're iridescent. So it adds a really lovely shine. So I'm trying to figure out where I wanted to place them. Kind of my usual style. I'll put two in one corner and then three in another corner. Always stick in with odd numbers since it's supposed to be more pleasing to the eyes. And then just one final finishing touch. I cut out a couple of small banners. I'm using one with pearlescent white paper and then the other with some pink satin paper. And I cut one of them just a little bit shorter and I'll just sort of overlap them slightly and then just put them in that upper right hand corner. So I won't be using this little girl again, at least for this set of cards. But there is my finished card and that is card at number four. Now moving on to card at number five. For the background paper, I chose this blue paper that has that paint splatter look. And then I also have some of the specialty green mirror paper. And I used a stitched hillside die on that green paper. So I'm kind of creating a little scene. It's not going to be a fancy scene. But I thought it would still be fun because I wanted to use a specific piece of the ephemera. Just to add a little extra detail, I used some of the gold sway peel-offs. I think this is the medium width and put a piece all around the very edge of that blue pattern paper. Just adhere that onto my white card base, leaving just that about an eighth of an inch showing. I'll attach my grass, nice shiny grass. That's what we all see, right? And then here is the ephemera. I love this little camper. It's so sweet, but it's very large. So there's not a whole lot of extra you could add onto a card if you're planning on using it on a card. But I do have one of the girls, so she's got a little popsicle in her hand. 
and her hair isn't quite as big as some of the other girls so I thought she fit perfectly to go with this camper so I'm just gonna pop her up using some of the foam squares in the kit and then finishing it off with just a simple epoxy sticker sentiment but then I decided to need a little something extra so I'm using some glossy accents on the heart on the door and then also some of the Wink Estella. This is the clear glitter pen. I just put some on the flower in her hair, the little banners hanging there, and then the curtains. So there is my finished card. Very simple, but I love how this turned out. So that is card number five. So next up is card number six. Going back to using a sketch again. This is MFT sketch number 408. I chose to use some yellow cardstock from the kit just for the background and then for the pattern paper this is fun it has a little cocktail drink and a bunch of fruit and some of the palm leaves nice fun busy pattern so I didn't want to cover up too much of it and then I did decide to use some of the new bubble peel-offs so this is the first time I'm actually using the bubble portion of the peel-offs I guess that's what we would call it so these are neat because the inside of all those circles, you have those teeny tiny little dots that you can use later. Now when I peel off that first one, I did have a couple of those little dots that wanted to stick with the little chain. So I did have to poke them back through using my little piercing tool. And with all of the new style of peel offs, so there's the sway and now the bubbles, there's also a matching pinstripe color. So for this card, I'm using just the really thin width of the pinstripe to go right next to that bubble chain. That would add a nice little detail to this card. I'll go ahead and adhere that onto this pink cardstock. And the kit does come with a perfect pink color that matches with the kit. Of course, I like to add a lot of layers, so I did include some more cardstock just from my own cardstock stash. So I'm going to go ahead and add a sentiment. This is going to be Hello Summer. I have a stitched white circle die cut and then also that scallop circle die cut in the pink that I cut out of that background matted layer. And then just to add a little bit of sparkle and to sort of break up the busyness of that paper, I'm using just this thin piece of the green glitter paper. Cut little fishtail on both of the sides. So for the most part, I am following this sketch very closely. And once again, this is going over that glitter paper, which has a little bit of extra dimension. So I'm only going to add the foam squares where it won't be on that glitter paper, just so I don't have that little extra bump in the, on the sentiment circle. And then a finishing touch, I'm going to use three of the enamel dots and basically follow just like the sketch with those three. But then I decided I need one more thing. So I mentioned you can pull out the little circles from inside those circle chains. So I'm using the largest circles and these are still pretty tiny, so they're hard to pick up. So I'm gonna use my little paper piercer tool and I'm just adding three of them in that lower right-hand corner. So there is my finished card and that is card number six. Next up is card number seven, and I figured it was time to make a shaker card. So I'm using Sweet Sunday Sketch number 216. The background paper has all of this fruit and a few of the fern leaves. Layering all of that with some more of this pink cardstock, and then I'm using some of the yellow cardstock in the kit with just these two thin strips on that left hand side. I'll use some more of the pink cardstock for that, lar that longer banner going across the bottom. I'll go ahead and get my card front onto my card base before I start building my shaker. So for this shaker, I'm using some of this vellum paper that has all of these limes imprinted on it. And I do want to be able to see those limes, so I did place that piece on some white cardstock. 
and I made sure to keep my adhesive on the edges so you're not going to be able to see that since you can always see adhesive through the vellum. For my little window of the shaker, I used some more of the mirror cardstock. Some of this is a, one of the add-ons that you can get from Love From Lizzie. And I'm going to go ahead and build up my little shaker window using some of the foam tape. I fold it in half first, so that way I already have my double layer that will be needed. So there's enough room in your little shaker for those sequins to move around. I make sure to get all of those pieces nice and flush. That way nothing is going to sneak out. And then I do want to add a sentiment in the side of the shaker. So by before I start adding anything in there, I'm glad I actually remembered I wanted to stamp this. So I'm going to use some VersaFine black ink because this stays fairly wet. And since I am stamping on vellum, it's always a good idea to heat emboss it. So I decided I'm gonna use some of Love From Lizzie's Rainbow Wishes embossing powder. I love this embossing powder. If you kinda of turn it in the light, it gets a really pretty rainbow effect. It has a little hint of glitter in there as well. So I'm gonna use some anti-static powder and then I'll add my sequins. So I'm trying to make sure I get a good amount of the little pieces of fruit along with the beautiful sequins. And I'll go ahead and put that back piece on, press nice and firmly all around the foam so I make sure everything is sealed in place. And I'll just add some ATG to the back of that piece and then attach it to my card front. And then just for some extra touches, I'm using a few of the ephemera flowers. I'm going to put two of them in that upper left-hand corner. Sticking with the pink, I used a medium size and then one of the smaller sizes. And then I pulled out the enamel dots again using some of these bright green, the smallest size, and just put them in that upper right-hand corner. And then later I did decide to just put a small Nouveau glitter drop in the center of each of those flowers. So now moving on to card number eight. This is Freshly Made Sketches number 291. I am seriously enjoying all of the pink that is included in this kit. Of course, if you don't know, pink is my favorite color. So I think Lizzie designed this specifically for me. Probably not, but I'm going to claim that that's what it is. So for the background, I'm using this chevron pink paper. Just gonna layer that on some more of this pink cardstock. And then the pattern paper is this fun white paper with a whole bunch of different popsicles. And then for my ephemera piece, I wanna put her on this little oval, but the white just seemed a little too white. So I'm just using some Nouveau Mica Mist spritz that so it has just a lovely pink shimmery mist in the background. That way the little ephemera kind of stands out a little more against the white. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach my oval onto my card. And I'm using this oval instead of that little small circle that's on the sketch. So I do change the sketches quite often. So easy for just have them for inspiration, but it's just as easy to switch it up and make it work for you. So I use some of the foam squares in the kit so I could add some dimension to this little girl and her giant ice cream cone. And I just thought I'd mention right at that point, you could kind of see the light and the color change. There was a thunderstorm going on here and of course lost power. So I did have a little bit of a wait before I could start recording again. But thankfully, I didn't lose any of my video footage. So I just added a sentiment onto a circle die cut. This is Have a Wonderful Summer. And I'm just gonna put that kind of right below that ice cream cone. And then just one finishing touch, I'm gonna add a small banner kind of in that upper left-hand corner. And then I haven't been showing this, but I do generally add just that thin strip of pattern paper on the inside of each of my cards. So there is my finished card, and that is number eight. So now moving on to card number nine. This is MFT sketch number 161. 
And yes, I am making another super pink card. So much fun. So for the background layering paper, this is some more of the specialty paper. This is a pink satin mirror paper. So you're only gonna see the little edge of it, but it really adds a lot of shine. So I love the look of the specialty papers. Always pick those up with all of the kits. I'm using a piece of this white floral paper with the green chevron design, and then also just a thin piece of that pink chevron paper. And then the background paper is just some pink cardstock. Then I'm using some pink glitter cardstock for that circle. And then using some more of this white pearlescent paper to put the little ephemera girl on top. So gotta get all of my layers nice and even. So I'm just gonna use some thin foam squares on just the left-hand side of this image box. And if I haven't already mentioned, most of my matted layers are an additional eighth of an inch. So that's additional eighth of an inch for the measurements that I have listed on the sketches. Although I do modify those all the time depending on the size of my image or sometimes what size papers I have left over. So for the sentiment, I'm pulling out those epoxy stickers. I absolutely love these. I think I'm using up all of the small sizes right away. Then just the finishing touch, I'm gonna to use some more of the enamel dots, just putting three of the small blue ones in that upper right-hand corner. Super simple, but I love how this card turned out. Lots of layers, so it gives it quite a bit of interest. And now on to my final card. This is card number 10. I'm using a sketch by Sketch Saturday. This is number 525. So for the background paper, I'm using a very busy pattern paper, it has these thick pink and white stripes and then lots of floral designs on there. And then I'm also using some of this green pattern paper. It has these really faint sort of yellow strips through there, almost looks like rain if you have them up and down. So I thought that would work well for the background for my little ephemera piece instead of just having white in the background this time. So I'm gonna pop her up using some of the foam squares. And it's hard to tell on the video, but both of these pattern papers are some of the pearlescent paper. I love how bright her red hair is against that green background. Now for my sentiment, I'm using the Aloha dye that's included in the kit. This is fun because it has the shadow along with the nice scripty font. And I use some white glitter cardstock to cut out the word. So this is very thin, very delicate. So I'm just gonna use some of my tweezers, add some liquid adhesive, and then just place that right onto that little shadow. I think the hardest part is the little dot from the exclamation point. But I did manage to get it on there. I was trying to use my tweezers, that wasn't working. So I had to pull out my little jewel picker tool that thing is so useful. And I'm gonna pop up that sentiment using some more of the thin foam squares. And I do, even though these are like really small, I am gonna cut them smaller little pieces in half just to make sure I have nice good coverage and none of the sides are sagging at all. So then a finishing touch, I'm pulling out some more of the Rainbow Wishes sequin mix. And I'm gonna put two of them in the lower right-hand corner. And then I'm kind of breaking tradition. I'm not gonna do three in that upper left. Instead, I'm actually adding five more, just kind of sprinkling them around the flowers and then just putting one in the center of that blue flower. So I place them first and then I have my jewel picker tool so I can pick them up and then add the adhesive. I mentioned before I'm running low on this multimedia mat. So there's a few times when I'm squeezing it, all I got was a puff of air and it threw my little sequin off to the side. So I had to go and pick that back up and put it back in place until I could get the adhesive down. So there is my finished card. 
Love how this one turned out as well. I think this is one of my favorites, but let me know which card is your favorite. So here is just a quick recap of the 10 cards I made using Love From Lizzie's July 2019 card kit. So now I'll show you everything that I still have left over from the kit. So I have one full sheet of pink cardstock, a bunch of the yellow, some green, and then that cream. I have almost a full sheet of the vellum and the acetate. I have a lot of the pattern paper still left. Lots of big scraps, five full sheets of paper, and I am planning on using more of these, so hopefully I'll be able to do a second part soon. Crafty time does get quite challenging in the summer though because my kids are out of school. So I have a lot of the sentiment still left over, most of the tassels, quite a few of the enamel dots, and a ton of the ephemera. It comes with a lot. I still have most of the full rolls of washi tape. I still have the peel-offs, quite a bit of the sequin mix still left over, and then of course the stamp set, the coordinating dies, which I never even used, and then the Aloha die. So there is everything that I still have left over in the kit. So you can make a ton of cards with this kit. As I'm recording this voiceover, the kit is still available, but it is a monthly kit, so quantities are always limited. If you are interested, I would suggest not waiting. I will provide links in the description box for most of the products I used. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day.